So this past Friday was Force Friday, which if you're a Star Wars fan, you know that meant that they, at midnight, uh, a bunch of stores like Toys R Us, Target, all the new Star Wars shit, in particular pertaining to the upcoming Star Wars film, Star Wars The Force Awakens. So I didn't get to go there till Saturday morning, so I missed out on some of the stuff which by then had sold out. Regardless, I did get to pick up some stuff, and I figured I'd share it with you guys and give you maybe like a quick review of them. Ready? Note, most of the toys are already out of the box, so if you were looking to see the box, they're long gone in the recycling bin. Sorry. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is a 12-inch Kylo Ren from the upcoming Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, this is a really nice figure. Actually, I had been looking for the... Uh, three and three quarter action figures but most of those had sold out and I didn't want a Kylo Ren but this was um, only ten bucks at Target and I figured that was a deal um, articulation is just the arms and the hands uh, the head does not move the legs do uh, but it's a really nice looking figure great detail as you can tell um, and I think it was a steal for the price um, his um, controversial cross lightsaber is really cool looking um he looks really nice posed on my uh on one of my desks so i'm happy with this purchase and um I don't know, he's got kind of like a undertaker pose going there so i like him i'm quite happy to have him uh he's uh kind of like this episode this this upcoming installment is Darth Maul, where he's like the cool villain. Let's hope he doesn't get sliced in half in this film, like Darth Maul did. So it wouldn't be me without picking up some pop figures. Now I have to say, by far the best deals were on Hot Topic, which on Force Friday, and only on Force Friday, they had to buy two Star Wars things, get a third one free. So. I ended up buying a one of the Pops um, t-shirts, the one with uh, Luke on the Tauntaun, and I got a uh, Millennium Falcon belt, meaning that I got this Pop figure for free. Um, he's really awesome. I, th he, I think he really ranks among the best Star Wars Pops I've ever seen. So um, if you look at the front, it looks like a typical Pop figure. Um, the back, of course, has all the guys from the um, new movie that so far they're releasing. Um, there's definitely a couple I need to own. Um, the top actually is where the name The Force Awakens can be found because it's nowhere on here, only at the top. And it says from the new film, Star Wars The Force Awakens. So let's open this bad boy up so you can get him a look, so you have a look of it for yourself. Okay, like all pop fig, like all pop Star Wars figures and Marvel ones too. He's a bobblehead, bobble 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 bobble. Um, detail is amazing on this figure. I mean, he looks fucking wicked cool. Um, right down to the folds in the back. Um, he, of course, he's again holding his cross lightsaber, and yeah, this is just so cool. As soon as I saw him and I saw the deal, I was like, this this dude is going home. Um, you can detach him from the base if you want to do so. Or you can put him back on his little Star Wars bases like I keep him. And, um, yeah, this is just a definitely top of the, I would say, the pop Star Wars list of must-have. Um, thumbs up. So, not everything I bought was related to the new film. I did get to pick up some stuff from the older films as well. Um, let me show you. So ever since I picked up a, or not I picked up, uh, it was a gift from my aunt, a, a, a Marvel Master figure of Deadpool, I've kind of have 
uh, a thing for Marvel Masters, or for Superhero Masters, I'm sorry. And uh, Star Wars started doing that. And as such, I picked up my favorite Star Wars character of all time, Darth Vader. So here he is. Um, detail is awesome, and he just looks like a really fun, cool character. Um, there's pretty good posability on him. Um, there's a couple of points of articulation. Uh, elbows. Knees. Well, he's a little stiff on the knees. Um, legs. Arms do swivel. Head swivels. No, no, um, no waist articulation though. And um, he comes with a light his lightsaber. And like all mashers, you can um, pop out his extremities. So you could put in like other body parts. So if I so desired, I could take him. And, oh, I don't know, take my Dr. Doom over here. His, oh, pop off his arm. Take off Peter's arm. And now Darth Vader has a um, Dr. Doom arm, so apparently he's got a huge hand and um, I don't know. Either he's been watching Hellboy a lot, or he... <sighs> he's been watching some Danny Daniels movies, and he needs uh, an extra hand to deal with the excitement of it all. But yeah, this one was really cool, and um, I picked him up at Kmart for $10, because um, this same figure was $12 at Toys R Us, and... Basically, I said, um, Toys R Us, you can suck my dick. I am not paying that much for a toy that I can get cheaper somewhere else. So, yay for Kmart for having a much, much better deal than Toys R Us, who, by the way, had no good deals. So, Toys R Us, suck it. Actually, there's one more piece I think you guys might be interested in seeing. If we go over here... you'll be able to see this really awesome poster that I picked up at Toys R Us. The only thing I bought at Toys R Us because, well, quite frankly, I couldn't find it at any other store, so its price of $8 was reasonable because there was no other fucking competition for it. Um, it's a poster of the uh, new character from The Force Awakens, Rey. Um, it uh, features some beautiful artwork, and it's got BB-8, who everybody fucking loves. You know, he's like the new R2. He's cute, he's cool. It's a rolling ball. It's got some X-Wings. There... There were ones of the villains. In fact, there were lots of posters of the villains, but I think I'd kind of done enough Kylo Ren. And I like her. She's a hottie. She's played by the beautiful Daisy Ridley. So... Star Wars always, I guess, has that one beautiful chick that every geek can fall in love with. And in this case, it's going to be Daisy Ridley. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I did buy up some other... So, I won't show you the pillow casings because they're older and they're it's not like new, new stuff that they've put out. So... I don't know. If you do a search, you could probably find that uh, that one was so old, it was being sold for three bucks at FYE. It's the Millennium Falcon TIE Fighter one. But anyway, moving on. Um, this is also old, but I figured I would show it to you. This I got at a uh, Hot Topic as part of the uh, buy two, get three. This is the uh, Millennium Falcon belt I was telling you about. And um, this is pretty new. In fact, it's not on the Hot Topic site as the cashier told me, and um, it's one of the pop Star Wars um, t-shirts. Like I said, it's Luke and a, on a Tauntaun. The, for someone who buys like a lot of pop toys, 
It's kind of shocking that this is the first one t-shirt I bought. Now, these come in a box, by the way, and I should warn you that uh, you better make sure you buy your right size because you can't return them. Um, mine is right size, so... Anyway, that's what I did for Forest Friday and the next couple of days. I'd love to know what you guys did. Hit me up and leave some comments. May the Force be with you.